a good percentages question where we've got a normal percentage, reverse percentage, and then we have to calculate percentage change. I like it. Good revision of all three topics. So let's deal with S to start with. To find S, it's just 25% of 60. That can be most easily done by just dividing through by 4. So 60 divided by 4 is equal to 15. You could work your way up and do 10% and so on, but really it's, it's best to just know that 425 is going to 100, so divide by 4. Okay, 60 is 80% of U, so that means that 0 0.8 multiplied by U is equal to 60, which means U is equal to 60 divided by 0 0.8. So this is our reverse percentage one. It's going to be 600 divided by 8. Um, and let's figure that out. You know what, I'm just going to do a little short division. So 8 uh, is going to be 7, just 56, remainder 4, 75. An alternative way to do it would be to say 80% of a value is 60, and then we could divide through by, I'll divide through by 4, I think, to make it 20% is 15, and then times through by 5, and that will also get to 75. So if I divide through by 8, it's just a little bit awkward. If I divide through by 80, it's also quite awkward. But anyways, so we've got uh, 15 and 75. And then finally, 80 is m percent of 25. So that is m over 100 times 25. Funny, that's how I found 25%. I just do 25 over 100 times 60. It's just 25 over 100 is a quarter. So I'm using the same kind of principle here. Right, so what I'm going to do is rearrange it. So M is going to equal 80 multiplied by 100 divided by 25. And I'll just do 100, 100 divided by 25 to give 4. 80 times 4 is 320. That's our third number. Okay, so overall, I've got 15 plus 75, that gives 90, plus 320 gives 410. Nice question.